Hi. All right. <laughs> so, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper operation of the Steers AMSCO Renaissance 3023 autoclave. Um, autoclaves are used to properly sterilize equipment, solutions, and biohazardous waste. And our lovely Tiffany is going to be demonstrating how to turn them on and get them started and to use them. Things to remember, autoclaves are really, really, really hot. Sterilization is done at 121 degrees Celsius and at 15 PSI, so it's pressurized. When you first begin, walk over to the front of the autoclave and you'll notice that there are two panels. Okay, so you'll notice that there are two panels here that you need to open up to take a look at where the power switches are. That's the main power. This is the chamber pressure, and then you have the jacket pressure beside it. And the other panel, when you open it up, you'll notice the second power switch is there. All right, so flip them both. Okay, so you'll notice your tape begins to run to log your cycle. You'll notice that your, um, yeah, the LED display is functioning. We do not want to perform the leak test, so we select option number two. And we do not want to perform the dart test, so we also select option number two. All right, and now we have to let the jacket pressure come up to 15 PSI here in this first chamber. Make sure that it's closed. And we can return to put in our items once the jacket pressure has reached 15 PSI. Okay, so while the autoclave is coming up, you need to make sure that all of the items that you have to be autoclaved are labeled appropriately, that they have a small piece of autoclave indicator tape on them so that you know when they're sterile, and they need to be capped loosely with aluminum foil or loosely covered with a cap that is not tightened all the way. Perfect. And all of your items also need to be in one of our beautiful autoclave buckets from Nalgene. It's also important to note that you don't want to mix clean media with dirty media or trash. Make sure that you keep all of your dry things with dry things and your liquid things with liquid things because they'll run on different cycles. It's also a good idea to take a look and locate your cycle sheet. It tells you which cycles to use if they're dry or if they're liquid. See, there you go. Isn't that lovely? And you'll have one of those in your lab. It's also a good idea to locate your log sheet because you will have to log all of the autoclave cycles that you run. Okay, so now that the pressure has gone above 15 PSI in the jacket, we can go ahead and load our things into the autoclave. So open the door, be very careful, it's on a weird hinge, so the whole thing kind of comes out. We slide our items in, be careful not to touch the sides, it's really hot in there. Close the door, <laughs> and we'll spin it all the way until it's nice and it's sealed. Way to go. All right, now that it's properly sealed, we can go ahead and select our cycle. We're going to use cycle one. And go ahead and press the button twice. And the cycle will begin. So if you ever choose the wrong cycle, you can press the reset button to cancel your cycle. And the pressure in the chamber will come back down. Right now you can see it's at 4, 3 PSI. Uh, 
and now it's venting heat. It went down to zero, CV equals zero, and now the cycle is begun, or it's back to where you can choose how you'd like to run it again. So our cycle is complete. Miss Tiffany dons our beautiful heat safe gloves. And we can go ahead and begin to open the chamber again. You'll notice it says door unlock. Now make sure whenever you do that to open it an inch and let the steam come out before you try to stick your arms or your face in there. <laughs> okay. Be very careful. The door is ultra hot. The inner chamber is ultra hot. Remove your samples, and you'll notice that your autoclave indicator tape has now changed from white stripes to black stripes, indicating that your contents are, in fact, sterile. Okay, so be sure to log all the information in your logbook. This one is our cycle count number is 02445. And this is our logbook. We want to write in for our run number. And then the date. What time you ran the cycle, which will also be indicated on the tape. The cycle number that you ran. What exactly it is that you autoclave. So in our case, it was media. How much media it was 100 mils per vial or per flask. We didn't do the test and your initials. All right. And that's it. Good luck with your autoclave. Now, Tiffany will demonstrate the proper way to autoclave weight. So you'll notice the bag is not twisted tightly. It has autoclave tape around a gathered top. They need to be put in the large Malzine buckets, which I know she has one of already, but she'll show you. It's right there. You want to make sure the bag is inside the bucket. Good job. And push it in. Will it hold two? They're the same size. Let's see if two will fit in our autoclave. Nope. 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 Just one at a time. Donner heat safe gloves to push in the grate. Way to go, double glove. All right. Push into the chamber. Perfect. Seal the door. Check her cycle. In this case, cycle.
waist cycle three. Get back to the front again. Okay. Um, when it's done, take it out. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. Even the same cycle number. Be sure to log it in. Either.